All right, so this little quick guide is going to be about how to deal with um, white screens of death. So I've got my WordPress uh, WordPress site white screening here. That is to say, when I go to the URL, all I get is a white screen. Um, the easy thing to do when that happens is to open up your WP debug. That is going to be located essentially in your WordPress folder, the same folder that you've got WP admin and WP content in. Uh, so I'm going to open up WP config. Um, and then I want to change this value on a line that says WP debug to false. Um, a more typical WordPress uh, WP config is going to look like this sample uh, where you've got more exhaustive comments than my version does. But basically, you want to change this value to true and save it. And then what will happen is on your white screen, once the file uploads, which is going to happen on mine in a second, if you refresh the page, you'll get a warning about what has actually gone wrong. So what's happened is, in this case, I intentionally broke it by putting this break everything line on line 18. But I'm getting a reported issue on line 19 of this file. Um, again, you can actually follow the full path through. So public HTML, frozen toothpaste, WP content plugins, post, every, everything like that. So you're going to follow that and you're going to see, hey, it's complaining about the syntax error. In this case, I just had some nonsense without any semicolon. And so it was reporting to me the next line. Once I save and upload that file, I'm going to basically have, an, uh, have it working. Uh, th this site in particular highlights the reason to not um, leave WP debug on in production because now I'm also getting a notice. And I don't really want that on in production. This will work fine for a little longer. Uh, obviously, I should go update this plugin that's causing the issue. Um, but I don't want this on in production because I leak call, call stacks up into the world and let people know where um, my file system is. So you want to generally WP debug off in production. But it's useful to toggle it on when you've got a white screen of death. Um, I'm going to have to actually go to a different page because I'm using a caching plugin. But if I go to another page, I can see that everything seems to be working fine again. So that's really why you want to use WP debug when you're faced with a white screen of death, and also why you don't always want to have WP debug on. Hope that's helpful.